All right. Here we go again out here B and J's custom. Just showing you some of the work that's been done. It's been power washed. Um painted under the hood. That's just the first coat. I'm gonna go back with another coat. Um right here you see I pulled out the AC box. We're going to go with some vintage air. We're going to put a plate right there to cover that up with four holes. Two for the uh, heater core and two for the AC lines. Um, I pulled the condenser out. Just giving you all a look at it. About ready to install the LS3. Should have got some wiring to clean up over here. Over here we got the engine, 6.2, got everything off of it, doing some cleaning up on it, um, got the Camaro manifold on there, got to change out that oil pan, got to paint a couple other pieces on there, um, got the one part of the dirty dingo motor mounts installed. Well, that's it for right now. All right, here we go. This is part two. Let's give me a quick update of what I got going on. Same car from part one. 1972 Oldsmobile Cutlass 442. But now. We've installed the LS3 in it. I just got the engine in with all the mountings. Um, everything mounted up. Just got the intake sitting on there right now. But the engine is mounted down. There's no transmission in it yet. Got a radiator in there just test fitting it. It's a little too high right now. But we got a few more things on the front of the engine accessories to change up. Got to fix that wiring right there. Uh, get a tr transmission and get it mounted up to it. Uh, just giving y'all an update. Out here in BJ's Custom. We're doing big things. Alright, here we go. This is part two. Um, I'm just showing you the car again. It's a 72 Cutlass 442 convertible. Got under the hood. All painted up. We pulled the old AC box out. The other stuff right there, that, that's going to all come off. It's going to be a smooth firewall when we get done. Going with old air setup. The AC, aftermarket AC. Uh, we got the engine right here. Prepping it. Going to get ready to paint it. Go ahead, paint it, prep it, clean it all up, and then we're going to stick it back in there today. This is a 6.2 out of an 08 Escalade. And this is a 4L60E transmission. Got it all butted up. Going to clean everything up real good. Going to paint it up, and we're going to stick it back in there. Update you when I'm done. All right, here we go. Give me all the update on what I got going on for the 72 Cutlass convertible. Here it is. Let me zoom out on that. Transmission painted all up in the cast aluminum. Give it that crate motor look. Right here, got it all painted. Everything, except for the head. Got it all painted up. We're gonna let it dry and probably gonna go ahead and stick it in tonight. 
on ahead and painted the valve covers black. Set the intake on there. It's gonna be the top of it's black. I think it's gonna look pretty good when it get done. But well, we're using VHT engine enamel. It's high temperature. Get up to 550 degrees. So, you know, your paint won't start bubbling up. Um, some pretty good stuff. I stand by. But here we go. Once again, that's time you see it, we'll probably be sticking it in there. I gotta go ahead and put them torque converter bolts in there before I forget. I don't wanna forget that. Um, yeah, looking good. Like I said, I paint everything but the heads. I don't like to paint the heads because I just feel like the heads get a little bit warmer and everything else, and I don't really want no paint bubbling up. I see a lot of people, they paint their heads, but I don't. All right, I'll let y'all see when we're about to stab it. All right, here we go out here at B&J's Custom. One more time, we got the car up in the air. This is just an update from the last video. We got the car up in the air. Got my tools right there in the jack. We're gonna get up under here and get this cross member. Here's the transmission. It's hanging down right now. But we're gonna get this cross member in there. And we're gonna get it bolted up and in the position that it's supposed to be in. Um, just giving y'all an update on everything. Here's a shot of the motor again. Got it all painted, looking brand new. Uh, got some transmission lines. You might have to cut them and refit them. Got a lot of other work to do. A couple other custom pieces that we need to put on here. But well, as of right now, this is it for right now. Uh, like I said, that motor is sitting a little upright right now because the transmission is hanging down. But um, I'll give y'all an update in a minute on how it looks sitting up right with the cross member in it. I might even get under and show you a little picture under there. Again, 